Welcome to the first iteration of a module I've built myself. Um, <laughs> this is pretty crackers. It is just a little flat box that I bought of Bits box, and it's got three sections. Top section, stereo uh, to dual mono. So if I plug in a stereo signal, what I, uh, I do this in the form, isn't it? And I've got that coming out my laptop there, which has got two tracks in garage band. One is full panned left, one is full panned right. And then I'm going to go. Right, 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 right. That's the right, right channel. Right, 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 left, 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 left. So I've got left and right there. So that's the stereo splitter. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug an LFO into the mult, which is the bottom module here. And I'm going to chuck this multiple into what would be fun into the pulse width modulation of this oscillator. I'm going to put this in channel one of my little mixer. And the next oscillator I'm going to put into channel two. So we've got two oscillators going to two channels. Horrible. And then what I'm going to do is with the second one of the malt, I'm going to put it in the CV of the second one. So now if I fade them up a little. So that's the CV. And there's the pulse width modulation. So what I can do now is that pitch is a bit hot. So I'm going to put it in this little attenuator that I've built. Attenuate. Attenuate. So it's still making that noise. I can take the heat off it. So there we go, stereo to dual mono or vice versa, uh, in and out on an attenuator and uh, a 1 to 2 mult, uh, all completely passive, all just drilled into a little block of plastic. <laughs> 